my brother. I had no idea until I heard about it. I'm like, hang on, that's tape. Yeah. No, no, no. I because my brother was was doing a sports media course as well. The home's um, No, he's oh. doing it at Sweeney, but um, he was looking into the home's as well. And I was like, oh, that's the home's That's and yeah, they do. They do a few of them. I think mostly. Pretty recent, though. At least the one I'm doing is pretty recent. Yeah, they're like, all sort of new. The first people started in like 2014 or something. Yeah. No, it's awesome, man. I drive past Home's Glen all the time. Is that the one in, um, like, sort of near Chatty? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. I drive past that one all the time. I don't want to you. Anyway. Yeah, no stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a pair Yeah, is there a better one you'd prefer us to?
Twelve three players are on. Oh, I, I genuinely don't know who that is. Like, yeah. I'm going to say that. I'm just going to say, oh, yeah, the defender. Oh, yeah. At least you can see. Yeah, we're like the under 19s. Like, they generally like, they all have the ball for like three or four seconds each. Like, yeah, it's pretty easy. You know, the men's is actually like, good to watch, like Dig 1, MPF and MRB. It's actually quite good to watch. But it's really, uh, it, it really shows when you come to like games like this, you're trying to do your best. But really, it's sort of just like, you're yeah, holding the camera in that corner of the pitch. Just waiting for something to happen. Then they'll like kick it five metres. Testing audio, testing, testing. Testing audio, all good. I'm getting levels on my side, so it looks good for me. Awesome.
Sure, I think they'd probably be around 15 minutes.
super radar, basically. I can zoom in on them and get them out and leave the emblem. I'm pretty sure it's right. We have shut this door, or are you just going to play open? Um, we have like two uh, weapons. We're not really picking up any lights like this. Is it just for your... I just more like that might put me off a bit. Yeah, we can try and shut it. Welcome to this under 13s mixed division 5 match of the day, Supreme Caravans match of the day between Parade Saints, who are undefeated, top of the table, 7 0 against Brunswick, who are 2 7 and sit 6th. They both, both teams came off wins last week. Parade 72 defeated Parkside 14 and Brunswick 51. Had a solid win over Park Orchards, who just scored the eight points. Just thanks for our sponsors today as well King of Hearts, Major Crane Logistics, and Mech Air Electrical. Beautiful hit out there to Brunswick because they try to get the ball forwards. Pack of players all over it now. No clear possession. It looks might have, could have been a throw there. The umpire let that play on. Nice tap on there. Right on there by Alessio Batoli for Brunswick. The ball's kind of smothered there again. Alessio get the ball back. Involved again. Nice little run there. Try to get the handball out, got tackled straight away as Parade looks to go forward. There's a nice mark there by Dunn. Tries to get it forwards there. Looks for his teammate and Stubbs. About 25 metre pass, very nice pass there. Great mark. He'll take a shot for goal. And that's Eric Lai. He's had a really good year this year in front of the sticks. It looks to pass it off. Very unselfish. And that's a great mark. About 20 metres out. Very clean piece of play there by Parade as they look to open the night with a goal. Just, just, just 
still in, across the face might have still been in play. No, sorry, the um, goal umpire confirmed it was a behind. This parade registered the first score of the game. It's a bit of a short kick, a bit of a risky one to one on one there. Crowd wanted ball, umpire wasn't going to give it to them. Bit of a risky play there. If you're going to go short, you want to hopefully go to a bit of a longer target. To a, sorry, more an un uncontested target. Ball's just bobbling around again and the umpire might... Oh no, the ball's got out there. Looking a bit dangerous here, Parade. A snap from the boundary. It's kind of heading towards the top of the square. Got a chance here, but the Brunswick defence will hold up and we'll get a ball up. Been busy in the forward 50 parade already. Dominated territory and let's see if they can hold it inside their 50 and potentially get another goal. Bit of an, or an ambitious shot for goal there by, by Lyon. That was out of bounds on the full. Sorry, it was one point. It is a bit windy tonight, uh, but that was a bit of a wayward kick and Brunswick will breathe a bit of a sigh of relief there. A nice kick out there, but intercepted there for parade by Aidan Calvert, who kicked two goals last week. Tried to get on the scoreboard again and that's out of bounds. They really can't get it past this 50 metre line. It's only been a couple of minutes, but Brunswick's really struggling to get the ball out of their defensive 50 as they look to do so here. So the wind's got hold of that one. Let's, let's see what it does there. And Parade are all over it. Got numbers to it. Bit of a nice kick up in the air. Great mark there by Lai again. Let's see if he wants to pass this one. He passed... One off before, he probably didn't need to, and then had a shot and goal before, which was a hard one. So I think he'll go back, go back and have this one, and probably split the middle. Oh, it didn't look like it started well, and the winds take. Oh, the umpires, umpires called for something. That was a goal, but the umpire hasn't signalled anything. Kind of just took it back. Well, we'll shoot. That was a goal to Eric Lyre. Very nice one. It looked like it was going to miss in the wind, brought it back and kicked that one well in the end as Parade looked to go forwards here. Long kick on the wing. There's a few numbers around there. It's a bit three players from each side. Not sure it was the best best choice to go to. But the umpire's going to ball it up. And my apologies just before. I was sure I thought it was a, a certain goal. And the umpire blew his whistle for something and took the ball back to the middle before the goal umpire even had the chance to stick his fingers out. We'll have a repeat ball up here. Good work by Ewan Morris there for Brunswick. He's in getting involved a bit early. I see that there for Brunswick. They're looking to go forwards here, Parade. Getting cut off. Well done there by Brunswick. Well done there, Parade by Stubbs. Ryan Stubbs, that was. Made a bit of a meal of that, and the ball's just trickling out. There's plenty of uh, Brunswick defenders around, though, and... Empire will ball that one up. If you're just turning in, it's been a 
Pretty dominant start for Parade. They only lead one three nine to zero at the moment after being missing a few gettable chances. Umpire's picked out a free kick and they're going to have another shot there. And that's going to be that man again, Lai. Been super dominant early. This is already his third shot on goal. Let's see if he's going to make the distance. Wind up. He's got a big kick. The wind's got a piece of it. Oh. It's just hit the post. Just a minor score. That... Eric lies on watch for for the uh, player of the match for CMI Hino, and I think we'll see plenty of him for the rest of it. Rest of the match, as Brunswick cleared the ball pretty quickly there. It's probably the first time they successfully got it outside 50 from a kick in. I'm all balled up about 50 metres out from Parade's goal. Involved there was McMillan. That's just going to be another ball up, I think. The ball might, hang on, it might come out the back. Waiting for Parade. Parade players just waiting for it, but the ball wasn't coming out. One there by Marcus Isaac from Brunswick going in and getting the ball, but he's set upon there. There's not much you can do there. The ball's just going to spend a lot of time between the arcs tonight on a pr pretty windy night, as I mentioned before. And it's, goals are going to come out of premium and Parade's already had a few shots. And they look to go for another one here. Go for a pass to the top of the square, but Brunswick player, was he pushed in the back? I think he was, and the umpire saw that one and is going to reward the Brunswick player a free kick there, rightfully so. Bit of a floating kick. It's a parade though. They couldn't really make the most of it. They dropped it on the ground and gonna have a shot there, parade. Nice snap around the body. He's missed. Gee, they're peppering the goal face here, parade. Really really could have been on four or five goals already, but that's their fifth behind and Hopefully they don't come to rue these misses earlier and they've intercepted again gone to the top and Eric lies there at the top of the goal square got teammates around him but he's going to kick it himself that's his second goal and that's Parade's second goal it's a bit unusual they had three of them by themselves at the top of the goal square not something you often see in football but Nevertheless, Eric Lyers kicked his second goal there for the game. He's got 16 for the year, so... You might see him for a few more tonight. And Parade get the clearance straight away again. Karolidis was running past for the uh, ball, but didn't, wasn't given it. Nice kick there by Giorgio, but... Eric's harassing his opponent there again. He's picked it up. Oh, went for a miracle goal and he's missed that one. Can't blame him for that. That was a hard shot on goal. and They're just absolutely dominating at the moment, Parade. Let's see if Brunswick can hold up here and try and get the ball near 50 because at the moment, Eric Lai, as well as the rest of the Parade team, is putting on a show. Buckley Penny out uh, with the long kick, took a bit of a stroll and then got the, got the ball, kicked it about 40 metres. Bit of a pack on the far side. No real players free though, it was just kind of a bit of a throw a blanket over everyone there and I think Brunswick are going to come out with it. But turned it straight back over to Parade and they're going to go straight back inside 50, a high kick underneath the lights would be hard to mark that Brunswick defence seemingly holding up here at the moment 
involved there was Thomas Vernal as well for Brunswick. Kind of just dropped the ball there. And Henry Bartlett for Parade was applying good pressure there and we'll get a ball up about, about 50 out from uh, Parade's goal on the far side where the, the ball's lived in this section of the ground for a, a long time, of the a lot of the game so far. Have another ball in, about 55 metres out from Parade's goal again. Smothered off the boot. Bit of a kick down the line there from Brunswick. Met straight straight back to parade and they're gonna get the handball off here. On oh, for a Oh it's found Eric again. He found him again. It looks like he's gonna pass it off though, that's unselfish. Nice pass and Oh knock didn't quite get the mark there. Probably had to wait for a bit too long. Umpire's picked out a high tackle and that's gonna be parade shot on goal. a chance to assert some more dominance on the scoreboard after dominating the play more than the scoreboard shows at the moment. Comes in with a nice kick. Straight through the middle. Apparently not. Apparently not. Unless the wind blew it late there as you can see the trees in the back. Going a bit crazy in the wind. That's another behind again. As that's the furthest they've made from a kick in here. Brunswick and Parade look like they're all over it again. Nice tackle there. Great tackle there from Brunswick by Batoli. Right on from Parade by Marcus Perry, who's been busy early. Nice kick there from Brunswick by Arlo Honey. Gets it forwards. Can be met here by some you know, parade. They're just running faster. They're just running hard at the moment. And Josh Dunn gets it forward to a pack. Couldn't quite get the mark, but great second effort. Great second effort there from Liam Haig, and he gets the ball. Gets some much needed ground there, and the ball will go out. But great second effort there. Couldn't quite get the mark, but that's what we want to see: picking the ball up at ground level after after you've dropped the mark. Bit of a long throw in there, but the umpire lets it go. Let's see if Brunswick can get it out again. About 50, meter, 50 metres out from Parade's goal, and Roland Lubke was involved there, Brunswick, but it was smothered off the boot. Thomas Vernal again has been busy as well, in and amongst it. Was beset upon straight away there. And the umpire said play on. The ball came out. Well done there for Brunswick was Marcus Isaac. A few nice contested wins early he has. And the, um, the siren goes to end the first quarter. Parade Saints have been dominant so far. Let, take a 2 7 19 to 0 lead against Brunswick in the quarter time. Eric Lai has been ridiculously busy kicking parades only two goals and a few of their behinds as well. Uh, he's been he's been a class above at the moment, and I think a lot of their defenders and midfielders haven't had much of a chance to get the balls. It's kind of lived in their forward line, uh, but every time it's every time Brunswick's got it forwards, you know, looking like they're going to get into their forward line, the parade midfielders, you know, have rebounded well and. I think Parade will be happy, very happy with their dominance early, but they would have liked to have converted more. Uh, and Brunswick will be hopeful that now that they they can get, you know, kick some goals, hopefully with the win, because the win has been doing a fair bit. And hopefully they can have a stronger quarter. We'll join you after the break. Definitely 
a miracle goal. Yeah, I agree. Miracle goal. Miracle goal? I'd rather a miracle goal. I uh, a miracle goal, like grand final right at the end, something like that. Probably a miracle mark. And then a miracle goal to finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> Tall. Drop punt. Probably drop punt. Yes, and probably drop punt. Drop punt. Yeah, drop punt, 100%. Torps never, never, <laughs> never works, <end> well. yeah. <laughs> I reckon night. I think the day ones are better. I think definitely night. Day. Yeah, day one. Get your guy face on. The Bachelor of Exercise in Sports Science here at Swinburne is a really good course. I found it really entailed a lot of the principles of exercise science as a prescription to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. Step back to where the exercise and sports science degree at Swinburne, it's a three-year undergraduate course. One thing we've really honed in on is the practical aspect of the course. We have access to so much equipment such as gym aware, treadmills and a whole lot of exercise testing and exercise prescription equipment that we can use. You've got your knee. People. We well, have so many resources here at Swinburne that you're able to utilise and make yourself the best exercise scientist you can be. Match of the day is the Supreme Caravans Match of the Day. Welcome back for anyone who has missed the first quarter. Parades, who were extremely dominant early, 2 7 19, leading against Brunswick. The nine scoring shots on the board, they really, you know, could or should have got to at least five goals, but that's alright. The wind has been pretty heavy. And and they have been just all over Brunswick, but let's see if Brunswick can make a make a dent in in that margin that they're down by. Eric Lies kicked the only two goals of the game so far, and could have kicked a few more. And yeah, he's definitely on watch for the CMI High No Player of the Match. Right on there straight away for parade by Panu. And the umpires pick something out. I think a few of the Brunswick players thought it was theirs, their ball. And that's going to be a 50 metre penalty. Unfortunately, you can't run through the mark like that. Although I think it probably wasn't intentional, but the, um, the umpire's got to pay a 25 metre penalty there. Looks to get it forward there with Simpson for Parade. Kicked it to about the 25 out. There's a pack of players there. And the umpire will have a ball up. Trying to get the will of the ball forward there is Brunswick. Nice kick from Parade there. 
Good work by Karolidis. It's been really busy early. Gives the hands off. Oh, big smother there from Brunswick. Well done. That was important. Is that the one that might have been going for goal? Of a boundary throw in about 10 metres out from Parade's goal. Brunswick get the hand on the ball. Quick hands there from McMillan from Brunswick. Might end up with the ball back again. Umpire looked to like he was about to ball it up, but he said play on. Three parade players around the ball. And Eric... Eric Lye again. About 15 metres out. Been absolutely dominant. Let's see if it, this should be a pretty simple kick for him. And it's straight through the middle. That's their third goal, and that's his third goal. So Parade, ah, uh, 3-3, three, three, sorry. Sorry, 3-7-25, three, three, leading Brunswick yet to score. Like Brunswick, we're going to get one of their first under clearances there, but it was holding the ball. Good tackle there in Parade. They're going to go through for through Panu. Ed Stubbs as an option. Didn't want to go to him, though. Got the ball further forward there. Just found Liam Haig. Nice, lovely kick there by Liam. About 30 out. And the, they've got the numbers there, Parade, and they've just well, they've got the more the bit more willpower at the moment. It's gone for a bit of an audacious kick around the body, but it's marked at the top of the square there by Ryan Stubbs. And that was that was a mere formality there as he kicked that one. That was a pretty simple goal. And they've quickly doubled their goal tally here, Parade. They are now 4-7-31 on the Supreme Caravan scoreboard, leading Brunswick. Zero, st they're still yet to score at the moment. Hopefully they can have a bit of a fight back here. Bit of a nil old draw there in the ruck there. I think, I think Carolitas might have been taken without it. Sam Simpson was getting the ball forward. Running into plenty of space there, but kind of didn't pick it up cleanly and Brunswick looked to clear here on the far wing. Really only far as parade as they kick it straight back forwards again and that was some superb running in the middle there. It might have been Perry as parade really just look like they're a bit stronger in the legs at the moment with their running. Or they wanted a bit just a bit more here Brunswick go, I think might have been holding the ball and umpire said play on. It's coming over to this side of the wing. Bit of a shove in the back. Give a shove in the back there from Henry Marjoram and going to get the ball forwards. But got a few numbers here, Brunswick. And Honey was involved again. They look to go forward. It's probably their best look at goal best look so far. They're going forwards. Not many people between fifty in the goals, but they look to clear here again and Haraleaders will be involved again. That was could have been holding the man there against Calvert. But umpire said play on. Bit of a three on one and we are always gonna be hard to win that for Brunswick as Herman Penu kicked that forwards. Bit of a clearing kick from Brunswick and it's landed just in play. The umpire will have a throw in there. That was clearly non intentional. Have a throw in about 60 metres out from Parade's goals. Right on there for Parade by Panu. Might have been a bit of a throw there from Brunswick as they looked to clear. He was aiming for 
over Gritsos, and he's wasn't to his advantage. He's done well there to pick it up. Nice clean kick in the middle, but there it's been met by Licardo from Parade. Try to get the kick. Someone from the crowd wanted ball, but I don't think there was any genuine tackle there. It's Ricardo for Parade's involved again. They're just running everywhere at the moment, Parade. Right on there by Calvert. Looks to get the ball forward. Good teamwork there. Brunswick coming to intercept here and let's see if they can just hold the moment hold parade's momentum a bit. Although Parade's kicked two quick goals to start this quarter, I think, uh, Brunswick have definitely looked a bit more competitive to start this quarter uh, than they were last quarter. They're trying to avoid a goal here, though. So I think the play was dived on there, and I'm not sure that was legal. The umpire said play on, and... I look to go forward here. Eric was involved. He looked to pass it off. Not a bit of a snap on goal. Didn't have enough oomph on it, and it'd be cut off there by a Brunswick defence. Got Layla as an option, but doesn't want to go to him. It was the only own option, open option, and he's gone long. That 40 metre kick, that was a very nice kick and mark. And they've got a few players out the back here. There's not many. They can get this next kick right. There's not many, anyone between them and the goals, but unfortunately, it cut off there uh, again from Parade, and they always seem to have the answer. Let's get the ball forward now. There's just another Parade defender just waiting. Waiting for it. Um, Herman Panu got the ball, tackled, kind of dropped it, play on. Umpire said, "What right on there from Brunswick by Isaac and Cotillia. Uh, Parade looked to get the ball forward here. Got a bit of plenty of options. Wants to go back there. Goes back to Panu. The two of the busiest players so far. Looking for stubs, couldn't quite get it right and. With a bold snap on goal there, and that player goes. The ball goes out of bounds. We'll have another throw in. Once again, it's still been mainly living in parades for 50, but Brunswick have definitely made some much better attempts at a route to goal this quarter. They definitely lifted the game a bit. Drawing about 5 to 10 metres out from parades goal. Let's see what they can do here. An attempted mark, but nothing happened there, and umpire's going to ball it up about 25 metres out. Goals, the crowd got a bit excited there. Calvert there was waiting, couldn't quite get the ball. Three, num three numbers on the pill there, and the umpire's going to ball it up about 45 metres out from Parade's goal. Right on there. Brunswick by Penny in the ruck. We're going to have another repeat ball up here. There's about 80% of the players are all within a 20 metre diameter here. It was quick hands there from Georgiou. And could have had a snap at goal, but he's been a bit selfless and wasn't really to anyone's advantage. And the Brunswick defenders... They had plenty there and perhaps a wasted opportunity there for Parade. Unless they can, as umpire, pick something out. No, it's another ball up. No real advantage there from the hit out. And we might have another one, another ball up. They're inching, slowly inching their way towards goal here, Parade. <laughs> There's been about five ball ups in about the last minute as they slightly get closer to goal each time. Let's see if the ball can come out for anyone. No one really has any space. It's, the ball will just trickle out of bounds for Parade. About 20 metres out from their goal. 
If anyone's just joining us, it is Parade 4731. Brunswick yet to score on the Supreme Caravan scoreboard in the match of the round. Nice intercept mark there from Brunswick in the goal square, but it's been turned straight back over. Well, maybe not. The ball's built out, but Parade looked to go forwards. I think he was looking for Butterfield. Couldn't quite take the mark. It was a great, nice smutter there, and it's a nice shot on goal. Liam Haig had a good shot on goal, but the, the, the Brunswick defence held up and got a, a boot to save it there, and that's Werner going forwards for Parade. It was a nice kick to about 30 metres out. Got the numbers, though some good running here from Brunswick, and it was a nice kick, but not really to anyone's advantage. They try to get the ball forward. A bit of a race to goal here. One there for Majorum for Parade did well there. His teammates gave him some support there. Henry Bartlett as well. Stubbs is waiting at the back, as is George U. Well on there by Felix Allen got involved there, and it's going to come back to the wing. Let's see if there's... There's not many options there. Werner, where's he going to go to? Going to look... Calvert might have got taken high. Umpire said holding the ball. A bit stiff, it might have been a bit of a high tackle there. Nevertheless, it was a nice tackle. He had paid there, and uh, Brunswick looked to go forward for Lucas. Involved there was Cotillia as well. Matthew Koleski. Ready under it, Parade looked to clear here. And he'll go forwards again through Karolidis. Been super busy, working hard there as McMillan, trying to put a put the clamps on this parade team. But go yeah, forwards for another goal. Bit of a snap around the corner. Could have been a contender for. I was going to say it would, could have been a contender for goal of the day for Cardaway mini skip, but wasn't to be as the kick was a bit offline there. It's parade. Still deep, deep in attack, and about 10 metres out. It's definitely say this court has been a much more even contest, uh, despite Brunswick still not scoring. But it's been Brunswick have their defence has held up a lot better, and as I say that, Parade are about to have a. Another shot and goal. Should be a pretty simple one and make no mistake there. Well done there by Sam Simpson. It's Parade's fifth goal. It's unfortunate for Brunswick. It stings a bit. They've been much more competitive quarter. Even though they conceded another goal there. And Parade Saints 5-7-37 lead Brunswick on the Supreme Caravans scoreboard. Just have just under a couple of seconds. Just under 20 seconds to play in this quarter. Very well done there by Alessio. I think that was in the ruck. Getting the ball forwards. Looking for his teammate and Koleski, but... It's cut off there by Parade again. Yeah, umpire was a bit of ball up. Siren sounds to end the first half. If you've just joined us, it's Parade Saints 5-7-37 over Brunswick yet to score. Parade were super dominant in the first quarter. Not making the most of their opportunities. Though in the second quarter, they kicked Three, their three goals, and only from their three scoring shots, are much more efficient. But Brunswick was certainly more up to the fight in the second quarter, and I think they'll be pretty happy with their second quarter efforts. And I think they'll come out half time with a bit of confidence, knowing that you know they stemmed the flow, if not on the scoreboard, at least in the general play from Parade there. Some of Parade's players have been dominant so far. Eric Clyde dominant in the first quarter. 
uh, still pretty handy in the second quarter as well. Hugo Werner's been pretty busy, as is uh, Michael Karolidis, uh, Marcus Di Pascali as well. Uh, both of the stubs have been pretty busy, and Sam Simpson, Aiden Calvert's been fantastic as, as Liam Haig. Well, for Brunswick, uh, Harry Gritzos has been pretty busy, Alo Honey, and would you come back and join us for the second half after the break? I'd rather a miracle goal. I reckon a miracle goal, like grand final right at the end, something like that. Probably a miracle mark. And then a miracle goal to finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> Talk. Drop punt. Probably drop punt. Yes, yeah, same. Probably drop punt. Drop punt. Yeah, yeah drop punt 100%. Torps never, never <laughs> works. <end> yeah. <laughs> I reckon night. I think the day ones are better. I think definitely night. Day. Yeah, day one. Get your guy face on. The Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science here at Swinburne is a really good course. I found it really entailed a lot of the principles of exercise science as a prescription to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. Unwrap. Step back to where the Exercise and Sports Science degree at Swinburne, it's a three-year undergraduate course. One thing we've really honed in on is the practical aspect of the course. We have access to so much equipment such as gym aware, treadmills and a whole lot of exercise testing and exercise prescription equipment that we can use. You've got your knee. People. How we well, you have so many resources here at Swinburne that you're able to utilise and make yourself the best exercise scientist you can be. Recruit a better way. The landscape requires more from coaches than ever before. With so much going on, it can be difficult to keep up. That's why the Rookie Me team has developed RM Coach. The AFL accredited coaching platform to help coaches stay organised, educated and on top of their game. Check out coach.rookieme.com. RM Coach, evolve the game. Everyone knows.
because Australia has four big banks. But there's another big bank snapping at their heels. It's been around for over 160 years, has 1.9 million customers nationwide who bank in branch, online or with their mobile app and is regularly voted one of Australia's most trusted brands. Who is this bank that has everyone's attention? Welcome to Bendigo Bank, the better big bank. In life, you have to play by the rules. Fit in. Don't be too thin. Or too bulky. You have to be perfect. Try harder. Go faster. Know your limits. Calm down. You shouldn't be doing that. Wearing that. Eating that. Suck it up. Suck it in. Boys don't cry. Girls don't fight. You can't do that. You watch this. There's no right way. No wrong way. Only your way. Anybody. Anytime. The Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science here at Swinburne is a really good course. I found it really entailed a lot of the principles of exercise science as a prescription to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. Step back to where we're... The Exercise and Sports Science degree at Swinburne, it's a three-year undergraduate course. One thing we've really honed in on is the practical aspect of the course. We have access to so much equipment such as gym aware, treadmills and a whole lot of exercise testing and exercise prescription equipment that we can use. You've got your knee. People. How it well, you have so many resources here at Swinburne that you're able to utilise and make yourself the best exercise scientist you can be. Some of their players get it, the other position get into the. Uh... I'm looking forward to a not, not as long drive home, like it shouldn't shouldn't take as long. Yeah, traffic size bad. I, I was coming up through. I got, I probably got set back about 15 minutes more than I thought it was going to be. Yes. If you've just joined us for this evening, welcome back, or welcome, sorry, yeah, welcome back if you've been following the whole time, and this is the under-13s mixed Division 5 game, match of the day for Supreme Caravans Parade, the top team, uh, who have seven wins and zero losses, Brunswick against Brunswick 2-7, and the Parade have had a dominant start to the to the game in the first quarter, didn't make much most of the opportunities, but they kick three straight in the second quarter. They lead 5-7-37 to zero. Brunswick on the Supreme Caravans. And thanks for our sponsors again. King of Hearts, Major Crane Logistics and Mech Air Electrical. As we get underway there, I see that they're to parade by Ned Mullen and they get the ball streaming through. I think that might have been Archie getting the ball forwards. Found Eric Lies, the busiest man on the ground already. 
tried to get a goal ball. It's got tackled and was, couldn't quite get a kick away there. That was almost a, as far as the start in the first uh, first quarter. Nice kick there from Brunswick. Looking to get the ball forward there. Good effort there by Harry Gritsos. Couldn't quite get the ball to his advantage for Brunswick. And involved there was Ryan Stubbs. And a kick around the corner. Let's see if it'll bounce through. And it has. That was a lovely goal there for Parade. And it's another quick start to the quarter. So now lead 6-7-43. To Brunswick, zero on the Supreme Caravans scoreboard. They've been much better since quarter time, Brunswick, but let's see if they can you know, put a few goals on the board. I think most people will agree that their second quarter warranted that. They'll look to get it forward to there through Connor Gray. Intercepted straight away and Someone from the crowd wanted ball, but uh, the umpire will ball it up. Getting involved there again is Sonny Vanderpoel, and lovely for kick forwards after streaming down and about 30 metres out from goal. Stubbs is involved, been busy right on there. Defence from Brunswick needs to take a nice mark here. Not quite, couldn't. Couldn't sit for him. It was Matthew Koleski who got involved there as well. And the umpire's just going to let that play on. Involved there also for Brunswick was McMillan, who's been busy today. There's a ball up about 45 metres out from Parade's goals. Looking to the radio screen or your radio dial. Intercepted well there by Freestone, and it was a nice kick. There was a couple of players there for Brunswick, though. They look to have things under control. Umpire, a bit tentative there, and eventually he balls it up. I think he was looking to see if the ball was going to spill out, but it didn't. It's about 20 metres out from Parade's goal. See if uh, Eric is looming. Here you go. On there by Lawton, I think it was. Got involved there. Nice kick around the corner. <laughs> Not quite. It was a bit of a, a bold snap on goal. And it's just another behind. One of the many so far. I think that might have been Sam Simpson, who's been quite busy. Goes for a stroll. It kicks it to about 45 metres out. Kind of almost in a sling tackle. Got the ball forward there. Well done. I think that was Koleski was involved again. He's been busy since half time, as is Butterfield for Parade. Got a few teammates there. And Bozanovsky is involved as well. Bit of an ill old draw in the ruck there, but with Koleski. I think I was holding the ball. And the uh, parade player dropped it instantly as a good tackle was laid there. I think that was Archie Lewis who laid the good tackle. He's been quite busy. Anyway, here's Stubbs going to a pass. Nice pass. Could have blazed away but chose not to. Then that was Lawton. Nice pass to Eric Lai. Eric Lai who was the busiest player in the first five minutes of the game and had a good second quarter as well. He's lining up for his third goal. Let's see what this one does. That just drifts away to the left, and that's another behind. And the Parade Saints now lead 6 9 45 against Brunswick on the Supreme Caravan school board. Still got the ball inside 50 here. Kind of a dangerous kick. Brunswick look to escape there. As they have the numbers and a bit of a... Just kind of get territory <laughs> at all costs at this point. 
Nice kick there by Freestone, and oh, I think that might have been holding the ball. Umpire was might have been blindsided there, which is fair enough. It's a very big, big ground. Leading to the ball there well was McMillan from Brunswick, who's worked hard all day. He's probably been one of the shining lights in their team that hasn't had too much excitement. Tiffany Freestone has also been quite busy. Good tackle there, and Leroy Layla. Uh, not sure he disposed of it there, but the umpire said play on. Sonny Vanderpoel was taking in a tackle there straight away as well, and the umpire said play on, and we'll have a ball up with the massive players just sitting on top of it. One of them there also was Freestone, who's been pretty busy since quarter time. So I think that's umpire's going to... Oh, he was he was extremely close to uh, Payne holding the ball there. as uh, he, tr he tried to call it a few times, but the ball trickling out. Nice kick there by Sonny Vanderpoel. Looking for a target. Uh, plenty. Well done there from Butterfield. Keeps it in. Goes for the impossible goal. Oh, and it was a behind. I thought that was going through, and that, that definitely would have been goal of the day if that had gone through. Would have been a cutaway mini skip goal of the day, but not to be. So that is their 10th behind now. The Parade Saints 6 10 46, leading Brunswick Euro Straight. If you're just joining us, uh, Parade are absolutely the team to beat this year in under 13s to mix Division 5. They haven't lost a game in. And that's, I think that might have been a goal, but the umpire's blown his whistle. There's a free kick to Brunswick there. Otherwise it would have been a certain goal to Eric. Lie again. Ball's just stayed in bounds there. Nice handball there. Aidan Calvert for Parade, doing very well there again. Been one of the better players on ground. There's a Sonny Vanderpoel. Kicked it straight back in. Eric Lai. That was... was very impressive, the pick-up there. Very clean pick-up, but unfortunately the kick was offline again. It's now Parade's 11th behind. 6-11-47 over Brunswick. Just zero goals. And zero behinds for Supreme Caravan's scoreboard. And the umpire's picked something out here. We take the kick in. For Brunswick. Lubke was waiting for it at the back. Eventually got there. Good positioning. Nice kick there. Nice kick there as Alush takes the mark. Had to wait for it. Not always easy to do that. Got the ball forward there looking for Cotillia. Took on the player. Lovely, great pass from Cotillia. Found his teammate there in Lubke and a few parade players kind of got around and stemmed the bleeding there. And the umpire's going to have a going to ball it up about 50 metres out from Brunswick's goal, and they've it's probably the one some of the cleanest uh, piece of play they've had so far for the game. Brunswick involved there was Felix Allen. Nice long kick there. Is this going to sit for parade? How's it going to bounce? Going to come away with it. Calvert was involved. Calvert again. Might get to the ball first here. Oh! It's kind of shoved to the ground there. Pretty hard by Leroy Layla, and that was just a tough footy contest. Something we like to see. Umpire's going to board up about 70 metres out from Brodswick's goal. Right on there by Wilfred McMillan, who's probably been one of their busiest players all day. Got it forward, but it didn't really penetrate there, and they're going to get it back, and that's a gutsy, gutsy mark. And that by me, that might be Muhammad Alouche, who's been busy this season.
front of goals and that was a nice kick but wasn't quite to anyone's advantage which is a bit hard to do when you've got the wind on a night like this the ball's just trickling around at the moment looking to get it forward there's a free play mark there and this is Brunswick and they have looked to have their first shot on goal for the night Been back in four. Unfortunately, that was just a behind. Nevertheless, they've got a score on the board and they've worked hard to get that score. Oh, waiting for it. Well done there. I think that might have been Eric Lowe on the far wing. That was a fantastic mark. That was had to wait for it and read the play really well and got the ball going in there f down the other side of the wing. This is a pack of players around the ball now. No real obvious passes on. And the umpire's going to ball it up about 75 metres out from Parade's goal. Yeah, Aiden Calvert got involved there. Pass it off to his teammate. One two there, I think it might have been Panu outside. Got the ball back and they're going for a snap. This would be an incredible goal, but no. It's out in the full. Had a few attempts at at goal of the day recently, cut away mini skip goal of the day and that probably wasn't the closest one, but probably would have been the most impressive if it went through. This might be Panu who's cut it off here. Looks to get it forward, going for a nice high up and under pass. He's at the hot spot. Ball gets to the ground and the umpire will ball it up. It's about 10 metres out from Parade's goal. Ball's just tricking around here. Let's see if anyone can get a clean possession. Involved there was Marcus... De Pascali has been busy and Parades have another shot on goal and that's another behind. That is 6-12 now. 6-12-48 to Brunswick 0-1 on the Supreme Caravan scoreboard. Going for a bit of a run here. It's just got the, I mean, it's been hard for them to find a, a target for most of the day. Oh, for both teams even, but I guess if you're going to potentially kick it to a 50-50 you want to get it as far as away from your opposition's goals as possible better throw in about 50 metres out from Parade's goal Didn't throw in really favour anyone there and the got it forward Parade but off hands and that's out of bounds about 30 metres out from Parade's goal on a, on a difficult angle. And there's no one on the uh, defensive goal line there for Brunswick, but they might want to put someone there. Coming out with it there involved. I think that was Stubbs. Stubbs has both been pretty handy today. It's going to sit right for Eric. He's got teammates. He's going to turn around, pass it off. Well done there. Great teamwork. Could have had the shot himself. Chose not to. That's very unselfish by Eric Lai. I think he's found his teammate there in Liam Haig who kicked the goal. Who's been busy today as well. I think after not also not on the necessarily on the scoreboard, Brunswick's fight back around the ground in general play might have burnt some petrol tickets as uh, Parade are coming coming back pretty strongly now and kicking some some more goals and that ends the third quarter. If you've just joined us, it is Parade Saints seven twelve fifty four over Brunswick. 
zero one who finally got on the scoreboard in the third quarter there and I mean the the lack of effort isn't there. It's just that par parades players have just been a bit quicker. They've been a bit quicker to the ball, a bit cleaner with the ball and being you know, they often say that even if teams are ten percent off then it's a big difference, but I think they're probably just a bit 20% better than Brunswick in all those areas, and that's resulted in a pretty dominant display so far. And it's three quarter time, and let's see if Parade will try and extend extend their lead, or if Brunswick can kick finally kick, get a goal on the board. Join us after the three quarters. Um, definitely a miracle goal. Yeah, I agree. Miracle goal. A miracle goal. I'd rather a miracle goal. I reckon a miracle goal, like grand final right at the end, something like that. Probably a miracle mark and then a miracle goal to finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> Talk. Drop punt. Probably a drop punt. You're saying probably drop punt? Drop punt. Yeah, yeah drop punt 100%. Talk's never, never <laughs> works. <Never> yeah. <laughs> Day. I reckon night. I think the day ones are better. I think definitely night. Day. There you go. Get your guy face on. The Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science here at Swinburne is a really good course. I found it really entailed a lot of the principles of exercise science as a prescription to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. Step back to where the Exercise and Sports Science degree at Swinburne, it's a three year undergraduate course. One thing we've really honed in on is the practical aspect of the course. We have access to so much equipment such as gym aware, treadmills and a whole lot of exercise testing and exercise prescription equipment that we can use. You've got your knee. People. How it well, you have so many resources here at Swinburne that you're able to utilise and make yourself the best exercise scientist you can be. Welcome back to this under-13s mixed Vision 5 Supreme Caravans match of the day between Parade and Brunswick. It is Parade, 7-9-53 lead, Brunswick 0-1-1. They've been pretty dominant today, to say the least, and you can clearly see why they're undefeated. As they've, they've just been first to the ball, they've been cleaner with it, they've it just seems they're running harder. Not that it's not that Brunswick haven't you know haven't tried or played played well. It's just the parade are that much better and nice hit out in the middle there. That's out to Carolitas, who's been superb today. Gets the ball forward. 
chopped off there by Brunswick defence and they got the ball back again straight away. River high up and under kick about 30 out. Going back for goal. I think that might have been Stubbs. Not sure. Anyway, Eric got it in the goal square and he sells a bit of candy and kicks it through the middle. That's his third goal. Probably could have had five or six. But that's all right. He's been by far one of the better players on the ground today. As he has been pretty much all season. There's a parade. Further continue their dominance on the scoreboard, and that is 8-12 now. 60 leading Brunswick 0-1 on the Supreme Caravans scoreboard. Matthew Kaleski involved again there. Just a shout-out to our sponsors again today, King of Hearts, Major Crane Logistics and Mech Air Electrical. Long clearance there. I think it might have been that man Carolitas again, but he's found a pack and through for another behind. Another behind that looked like it might have been a certain goal, but that's all right. I think they're not. I think that they can sit back and not be too annoyed about his missed behinds when they've. Had 21 scoring shots, which is incredible in a junior game of football. So Brunswick looked to clear here. Right on there by Calvert, who's been pretty busy today, and he sees that out of bounds. He's worked really hard all day. Bit of a throw in. Bit of a nil-all draw there, and Calvert gets the ball. Take, kind of half taken with it without it and also involved there was Archie Lewis oh, it's going to ball it up trying hard in the ruck there was Buckley Penny for Brunswick might see repeat I think that might be Carolatus it's been super, superb that might have been Deep Pascali actually no, it might have carried. It was Eric Lies trying to do the impossible there. Falls to ground, gets the handball up. It's the kind of tackled straight away. You've got the numbers here, Brunswick. Let's see what they can do with it. Got plenty of numbers involved there was Allen. Ball didn't quite sit for them. Could be that windbag difficult. So they look to get it forwards. Backward, sorry, and... Uh, it's a nice kick to found Eric Lai. Nice chest mark and about 25 out. He's going to have to kick it about 25 metres. See if he can kick his fourth goal of the day. I think that, yes, that's that's a goal. That's a great goal. It's pretty straight. Wind helped it a bit, but it was mainly online anyway. It's a great goal for Eric Lai. That's his fourth. He now has 20 goals for the year. And he's by far probably the best goal kicker in this competition at the moment. This parade now lead 9-13-67 Brunswick. One behind. Trying to get the ball forward again there was involved there was done and then they get the ball forward here for Brunswick through Allen got tackled straight away though looking for McMillan get the ball forward Costelli tried hard there got tackled straight away and I think the umpire's going to ball it up taking a while to blow his whistle but he eventually got there nice strong hit out there 
McMillan kind of pushed it in the back. I think it might have been a high tackle. Take your pick. Oh, Carolitas. Nice pass. He's gone for Calvert. Calvert has been one of the best players today so far. Absolutely moaned down, and that was too high. If the tackle was a bit better, it would have been a fantastic rundown for holding the ball, but it was too high. And Calvert's been one of the best players today. Kicks it inside 50. See if Sam Simpson can turn himself into the ruck there and get the ball down. We'll have a repeat. Ball up. And then by Freestone. Kind of got through it. So that was Honey Vanderpoel. Kind of got tackled and half threw it out. Umpires put the whistle away a bit, which we don't mind. The umpiring's been fantastic today, so we love to see that. Oh, might have been a push in the back there. Umpire will let it go. Ball's about 50 metres out from Parade's goals. Involved there was Freestone. There's going to be a free kick. Might have been a high tackle. Bit of bad luck as you can hear their, their runners yelling. Nice long, long kick, about 40 metres out. And then I think that's Eric got it again. Round the corner, surely it's not going to bounce through. No, it doesn't. It was again another attempt at a... Another attempt at a... <laughs> a cutaway mini skip goal of the day. Ned Mullen has been pretty busy. And Ned Mullen straight through the middle. Great goal there to Ned Mullen. As you can hear, I think, some family getting excited there, as they should. And that's Parade just extending their lead again. There's party time now, they're cashing in. That's their ninth goal. Their tenth goal, sorry. Ten, they now lead 10 13 73 against Brunswick. One behind on the Supreme Caravan scoreboard. Let's see if Brunswick can eventually get their goal. They've probably earned. I mean, they've been competitive since quarter time. Ball's going forwards there for Brunswick, but it was only as far as Stubbs. Pin it forward there. Well, that was one well done by Archie Lewis. They've just got numbers. They've got momentum. They're just willing the ball forwards. Kind of at all costs there. And to get involved there was Freestone. And nice shot on goal. But just another behind. Has seen plenty of those tonight. It's 10-4-74. Lead Brunswick 0-1 on the Supreme Caravan. If you've just joined us this evening, uh, Parade Saints are the top of the table team and have had a pretty dominant season so far and they're showcasing that again tonight. They've just been for an intercept straight away there. Might have been done. Uh, get his teammate out. 30 metres out. Going for the pass. 
Oh, lovely pass. We had a few unselfish players today, and you like to see good teamwork. This is Michael. Michael Karolaitis has been really busy today and goes for the pass again another pass unselfish again we don't mind this they can do that they can do that when they're 11 goals up 12 goals up sorry I think that was Manu who kicked it straight through the middle that is their 11th goal, and they now lead 11-14. Oh, apparently he was missed that. Sorry, I got a bit excited there and thought, <laughs> thought he would have put that through. But I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. If they do have 15 behinds, Brunswick looked to clear here. Again, straight away intercepted by Parade. They're just unable to break that defensive 50 wall at the moment. Nice pass there. Right on there. Stubbs is involved there. Had the hands off. Umpires paid holding the ball. Good defensive tackle there. Bit of it got out of jail there, Brunswick. Get the ball forwards again. Let's see if they can find a mark. They can't. They were trying to claim it there, Stubbs, but that was off. Hands of both teams, the umpire balled up about 40 metres out from Parade's goal. It's gone for a run here, let's see if they can clear it. No, no one between them and the goals, it's going to be a bit of a foot race here. Picked it up there, well done was Manu. Got numbers back there very well, the parade, and they're just going to get it straight back inside their 50 again here. Got Manu again, that guy's been busy all day. Might, might roll through. Oh, just off hands. Again, that was a long bomb, and that would have been another, another attempt to cut away mini skip goal of the day. Got options there, Brunswick. Tony Castelli's calling for it. He's going to ignore. They're going to go. It's going to go on the other side of the ground, which is where all the players are, which is a bit baffling. But anyways, having a run there in the middle. Lovely kick there. Got smothered though. Well done there by Panu. He's been fantastic. That was a good run before by Campbell, and that's. Gone through for another one. It's party time at, for Parade at the moment. As Michael Karolidis kicked another one. Been pretty busy today. He was fantastic early in the game. Around the ground, he's... Until he put the Jets on it on multiple occasions and he's kicked a few goals himself now as well. And they now lead 11-16-82 against Brunswick 0-1-1. Well done there by Panu in the ruck. Trying to get the kick out there it was great for Brunswick. It was smothered straight into the pack though and the umpire's going to ball it up again from the exact spot that he balled it up about five seconds ago. Panu with a massive hit down again. Tap out. He's got players running there. I think Stubbs has got it. He's going to go for the pass. Bit of a funny kick off the ground there by Brunswick. Interesting decision. Got another shot for goal there. And that's gone through as well. They're in certainly enjoying themselves out there in their parade. There's 12 16. Now 88 over Brunswick. Still the one behind. And that's full time. It's full time here for the under 13s Division 5 match between Parade and Brunswick.
the final scores it was Parade 12 16 88 over Brunswick 0 1 on the Supreme Caribbean's scoreboard. They were their best football around the ground was probably in the first quarter, even though that was their least goal scored in the quarter. They just couldn't convert, and then they certainly converted a lot you know, better as the game went on, even though they still have plenty of behinds. But that's Nothing for them to sneeze about is, you know, 28 shots on goal. That's something to be pretty happy about. And um, against Brunswick, who are a capable team. I mean, Brunswick last week won by 54. Sorry, they won by 43 last week, and they against Park Orchards, and they won by 54 against Preston Bullants in round seven. It shows that they're capable of a score. And I'm just going to go over some of the players and mention some of the. Better players, I think Eric Lye, he was fantastic. Kicked some goals early, set up a few more. Uh, he was fantastic. I think he gave him goal of the day. He had a fantastic goal uh, in the second, sorry, in the first quarter where uh, it was a not a tight angle, but he just kicked it nicely and he worked hard to get the mark. He's also got mark of the day in the, th in the f second quarter. He just let out beautifully and took a mark on the chest and then went back and kicked the goal. And play of the day. Oh, there's, there's plenty to write home about. There was one where, I think it was early on, Early on, where Archie Lewis was streaming through, and then I think he ended up, you know, linked up with Aiden Calvert, and they kicked a goal. I'm trying to remember who exactly kicked the goal. It might have been Eric Lai, but they'd just been intercepting all day, and then I think that was sorry for the mark of the day. Before for Eric, that was for the two brothers' constructions, and the play of the day was the Stephen Specialist Tree Service. And but I think the player of the match, CMI Hino, I thought early days it was definitely going to be Eric Lai, but I think through his you know speed and his damaging possessions and his late goals later on in the piece, I think it's Michael Karolidis will give player of the day. Well, next week parade versus Richmond, who are third, uh, will be an interesting match up in Brunswick. Really, Campbell, who was second, well, that might be a hard game for them as well. Um, hopefully they can do a bit better next week and good luck to both teams going forward and for the rest of the year and